I don't even know. So this was large. this. this I, it was like 2016. And he told me it was like when you guys went to uh, medieval times. Yeah, yeah. So old. All right, well, let's get this started here. Loser Semi's best mess. Of course, one of these players will go on to face Sharp. And of course, winner of that will also face off against Apollo Kage here. But first off, these two will battle off the Loser Semi's best of five territory for all of you wondering back at home and the VODs. <laughs> nice punish with the parry. Yeah, this was actually interesting because I know that Vin has fought against Ness quite a bit with, you know, playing foes so much. So I would imagine that going into this against Best Ness, not that foe and Best Ness are like, you know, super similar playstyle or whatever, but this Match, should, should yeah. be a matchup that Vin is very comfortable in. And wow, that was crazy. That just looked like even with good DI that he just had no choice to get hit by that. I was going to say, it's like you said, right? He's he's played against Phil. He's also beaten Phil quite a few times. There was like a, a tournament series they had um, where basically like it, it, they would crown a king. And there was a time where Phil was undefeated. And, and definitely Ben was one of those few players to actually take it over Phil at a time when he was just one of the strongest players in the region. So if anybody knows the NAS matchup, like the back of his hand, it's going to be Ben. And he starts off with the first strong stock as you can already see 131 here on van and he knows how to play this matchup like you said they're two very different player strides but knowing the matchup is kind of half the battle then it becomes knowing about the player and their play style so far man business is really uh struggling to get past with phantom but that was a really good uh bait on the nehru's there just thinking the back throw really good awareness from business So far, the way that uh, Vin's using the Phantom is he's just trying to set up enough space to keep Vestness in like one one section of the stage. Just like pretty much take all stage control. Not necessarily to actually, you know, hit him with the Phantom. But just make it so that Vestness doesn't have much room to work with and he's might feel tempted to, you know, approach in some really bad spot just to avoid the, the Phantom. Seems to be working out pretty well for Vin right now. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Up there is it up you with Zelda? Okay, back at the ledge here. The best is not able to apply too much ledge pressure, but does get the back air out in time. After shielding the first hit of the Phantom. Nope, no two frames there. Oh, Ooh, the track down way. there into the up B. I haven't seen that one before, but definitely makes sense. <laughs> and looks to be a very effective combo too. Yeah, Ven's looking to play with some new tech that he's picked up for sure. And honestly, evolving tech is what keeps the meta strong for you and the character as well. So Ven definitely shows that off here. Nice into the Narrows. Oh. Oh, nice to go. Into oh. <laughs> the Narrows love to reflect the second PK fire and also to just negate the first one too as well. I haven't seen a bin go for much is uh anti or up smashes. Just so the way that Ness has been kinda of drifting in, you would think you'd be able to sneak in those. But there is the up tilt there, and you got the whip punish on the four smash. Oh, nice use of the up B from Best Ness. Now he has some stage control too. 
Nice. Oh, oh barely gets the down smash in time. Yeah, Ven at 115. Looking for to slowly bring his way back on the stage. Nice punish. Nice punish from Ness. Sees nice that as an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, you're in a lot of delay when you're charging that move like that. But uh, Best Ness recognizing that, using the his movement to just duck under the Phantom while also hitting Zelda while she's still in the animation of uh, using it. That was actually really smart for Best Ness. I'm like looking at the chat and I was like, oh shoot, why are they all emotes? And I forgot Z Fly like redeemed that. Oh. You got it? So how long does that have to be active? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, but for those watching the VOD, yeah, you guys can participate in the chat and bet channel points to see who would win and redeem them for cool little interactions here on the stream. <laughs> All right, well, game two, best Ness. Bidding on Ven game one, we'll see how game two treats uh, Ven. Yeah, I like this uh, smash build pick for Ven. It's because that phantom slash covers pretty much the whole platform. And uh, it's smaller stage is kind of difficult for Ness to avoid a lot of these setups, I would say. Wait a minute, can Ness like reflect the Phantom with Force Smash? I'm wondering. I think that's what Best Ness just did. I'm looking for a little bit of a punish there on Ven. Looking to clear some space and get a decent lift punish there, but. Ooh. So good. Using the first few you hits a landing fair to combo into that down smash. Gonna be oh great patience for Ven too. Looking to see how Best Ness was gonna react. If it was gonna air dodge or directional air dodge or go for any kind of aerial. Night setup here. Good for Best Ness too. He doesn't go for an aerial immediately or just try to go for a jump. He tries to stall himself using PK cross. Yeah, he doesn't always have to commit to his up B. He has that PK uh, a neutral B, and then he also has just the air dodge up. <laughs> To get to ledge too. Oh, <laughs> using the PK Thunder in such a way here around Ven. Bestness looking to hold in the sleeve. PK Fire. What a size stall too, because yeah, like we saw it the first time with Ven. He used Neighbor's Love to negate the basically the rest of PK Fire and the second one to reflect it back. Wow. Dash attack. <laughs> yeah. Dash ever, attack since is they, crazy. ever since they made that move have a little bit more knockback, I've been seeing Ness players just clutching out some of these stocks with that dash attack these days. Oh, this is a tough angle for Best Ness, yeah. Oh my goodness, he gave fire all day. So much damage, but like it also causes fear for Ven because if you get stuck in one of them and is unable to use Nehru's love to reflect the damage, then it's gonna be a lot of damage he'll take for sure. So far though, I mean, Ven hasn't been in a situation where it's done too much. All right, Knight set up here. Oh, what a back air. Looking for the whiff punish, too. That's smart on Bessos. We saw it last time where he made the attempt. <gasps> oh, no. He didn't get the right angle. Oh, man. Some really rough SD right there for Bessos. He has such a huge lead.
Nice. Nice landing mix up there for business. What's the out of shield play here? Oh, not enough to oh, be active frames, yeah. Look at Bestness, dude. He's always in that whip punish range against Zelda, looking for Ven to make that commitment and punish him for it. It's paid off two times already. All right, looking for the look. Oh, I was gonna say, like, Ven hasn't really been caught by that. Some of the most patient I've seen Bestness play in this matchup. The patience is he's like perfectly. Is... He's perfectly content with just like hanging on the other side of the stage. Let let Zen set up the night, and then just pick his openings really carefully. Nice. There it is. That was a pretty, not necessarily like super dominant from Bestness, but he's just playing around the setups of Vin just so intelligently. Yeah, as he should. Uh, definitely the silver, the silver gene has a really good comment about that too. You can actually, Ness can actually reflect that using forward smash. You just gotta be careful with the timing at times. Cause if you don't have the timing right, like it's, it's pretty, you'll get punished pretty nicely and it's, it's hard. Thank you for Apollo Kage to noticing that. 752 viewers and 750 people watching. That is hilarious. But honestly, we enjoy entertaining Everyone in the tournament everybody. is watching this right now. Basically, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> but honestly, 750 views plus and 750 views plus on a Monday night. Honestly, big, big shout outs to everybody here too, honestly. It's it's uh it's crazy and we definitely appreciate the viewership and of course the number of entrants we get every Monday. So honestly shout outs to everybody in the chat who join us, watch us, sub to us, follow us, and even enter our tournaments. We got a little bit of ways before offline comes back, but until then, honestly, our love and thanks goes to you guys. It is Monday morning for some, depending where you are in the world. Three. Wait, Monday morning or Tuesday? It's some oh Tuesday morning. Sorry. Okay, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, you, you got me. You got me. You got me. <laughs> I was like, wait, where me. in the world? You I'm gonna move there. What the heck? One day back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, Tuesday morning. Anyways, it's Tuesday morning somewhere in the world. All right, again, I did. Uh, I didn't uh, mind this counter pick for Vin. I just. Really like the coverage that the knight gives on that middle platform. It was just once Besna has had the decent lead, it just seemed really rough for Vin to get in, like approach safely, you know. So I think that's his, his plan here. Yeah, we, so we talk not 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 give Besna an opportunity to just wait him out. Oh, caught the roll in. That, that, that trip hitbox from the weak back air and then cover the roll. That was really nice from Vin. Oh, Ooh, big up B. Yeah, yeah, Vin's always holding down just slightly when he's about to grab the legends up B. So the hitbox will hit someone if they're trying to like hang at the ledges too much yeah. or like maybe intercept it. Exactly. And the way Bestness uses Nair at, off the ledge too is really strong. So Vin has the counterplay against it. It's like I said, Strides. It's one thing knowing the the character matchup but knowing the player it's not ma matchup is a whole different ball game and it's half the battle too because not every player plays the same and you can tell with best nest with pretty much 2-0 on ven shows why but ven is making some small adaptations here 139 and the stock lead Total punish too. Punishing bestness for trying to go around the night. Oh man, 
man, Carl was sleeping with that OB. He didn't take any damage last talk either. Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. That's yeah, messy. Yeah. He's gonna give it up. I think. I think when he's behind like that, he just. He doesn't want to deal with getting zoned out by the Phantom and being forced to approach, potentially running into that move even more. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, yeah, you're right. Honestly, it's at this point, like, you. Bestness has the right idea in mind. Like, just throw the stock away, come back to the next one, because you're only going to frustrate yourself more. And in a war of attrition against Zelda, honestly, it's about going the distance. And if you feel you're wasting your energy and on going the distance when you're behind, it's best to just throw it away. And yeah, exactly. Don't give more momentum. Just come back, reset it all, and then take the next game. Because you still have two more games to potentially do it. So Bestness, he knows what he's up to, man. He knows he you right strides. He definitely knows what he's up to. I mean, he still has, like, such a huge advantage with the set lead right yeah, now. He, he does, he's he one more. So, yeah, here, here he gets his counter pick. He's not playing Vin on the amazing Zelda stage of Smashville anymore. And, uh, yeah, let's see what he can do. I really like this stage for Ness. This platform layout for him is so good for the up B and the uh, PK fire angle there. Exactly. Cover so much Helvet, space. Hel Helvet says it really, just summarizes it really best here. It's better to have that mental salmon and just save it. Just save it in general here. And like you said, Scribe, now he doesn't have to worry about playing Zelda on, you know, Smash Bros. Part of the PS2 here. Back yeah, so you, we're even magic. starting to see uh, Vin kind of overextend, kind of like, you know, play a little bit over aggressive here to deal with the way that Bestness is approaching this matchup right now. Yeah, this is a strategy of literally staying outside the range of the Phantom Swing every time is just so effective versus Vin right now. Right, if I was Vin, uh, yeah, I would really, like, Take advantage of the fact that Bestness is giving up all of this stage just to like zone him out. And then, you know, take up all that stage control. Then when he gets a hit, he really needs to capitalize hard. Yeah. Try to get like a whiff punish on Bestness for overextending like that because he's giving a lot of stage. And that same space, you can pretty much force an opportunity where Bestness might overextend and you get a really good whiff punish here. On a, on a shield there, good, and then immediate back air, man. Oh, the snipe on the up B, good stuff for Vin. Now he has potential off stage. Oh, oh. man, so close. What a cross up too with the back air, enough to go around oh. that. That was really scary for Bestness. He angled that wrong. Oh. No, he can recover. He can no. recover. Heck. Okay, yeah, okay, he can, yeah, nice. he can recover. He can recover. Yeah, but I thought Vin was there to cover that OB as well. But, oh, but he there the is the he can... supercharged forward smash catching the neutral get up. Honestly, a lot of things to be avoided there by Bestness. Dealing with the Phantom, a neutral V, a forward smash. Like, so many things at the ledge you have to worry about. Great punish there for Vin, though. Catching that uh, up B at the ledge with the Nerus. And now, Vin working with the lead. Let's see if he can uh, force Bestness to approach here. That strategy of hanging back, giving him all the stage control is not going to work when Vin can just do the same thing to him now. But nice. Landing fair, catch the slight, uh, catch the sponge with that slight charge of the, the up smash. Oh, good damage. Oof. Oh, but the I've, Nehru is coming in clutch, actually. I've been telling you time and time, Strides, like, he's been using this Nehru's love to just avoid that PK fire. Like, even just negating the first, the damage of the initial hits on the first one. So he takes very little damage, and then he reflects the second one. And Oof. not only that, you get invincibility frames on top of that. Yeah. Right. But good punish. Yeah. Good punish. Yep. Great and stuff I for best. Seeing that opening. Knowing that he's gonna go pull out the Nehru's on the PK fire, he just gets right around him. So exactly, and back. we yeah. talked about it too. Like you always remember, reflectors actually have an end lag like, after they reflect the initial move or have made an absorption. And in that time frame, you can actually punish an opponent for that. Oh, that's just going for some crazy juggles right now. Been, yeah, forward throw can't find an control. opening. Then there's very little lag on what Bestness is doing. Okay. Yeah, he's playing it safe. Yeah, and he's just choking him at the ledge, too. Vin just wants to get the center stage. Yeah, 
And I really like the distance that Best Sense is playing on the stage. Like, he just wants to be as far away from the night as possible. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What an assist. That's a Marvel 3 assist, man. You get that grab, and then you force your opponent into literally <laughs> whatever assist call you have. And probably Sentinel. You're playing Marvel 2. Anyways, Best Sense here back on the hunt. PK fire, yeah, oh. back air, stage control, PK cross to kind of force that low recovery here. Then trying to find an opening. Nice use oh. of the Nehru's there and holds down to get past the smash attack. But dude, best is just continuously pulling him off the stage with these aerials. <gasps> the Opportunity night. for yeah. Vin, but no, best plays around the night there. Two minutes on the clock, man. This is not going to oh, stop here because Bestness. Yep. Just enough to kill. Uh, but yeah, Bestness is going to take that. Man, Vin was really starting to bring that back, though. But just couldn't find a grab or anything to force Ness off stage.